Hey YouTube, Jim here. Recently had some success uh, breeding some angelfish, so I thought I'd share a couple of videos with you. The first one is uh, the breeding of the angelfish, and then after that I have another video to show you uh, tracking the development of the fry. So here are the parents. These are both black lace angelfish. Uh, the uh, video is pretty horrible. It's my first video, so uh, bear with me. Had the had the flash on. But anyway, uh, had them in a 30-gallon uh, breeder size tank. The uh, mother is the standard tail uh, and the uh, male has the veil tail. As you can see, I have a piece of PVC pipe in there. Got that from the local Home Depot. Chopped it off and sanded the edges off. <coughs> Females obviously cleaning the, uh, cleaning the pipe. Video is a little bit better here. Uh, Obviously, they're a little more interested in me, thinking I'm going to feed them now. But uh, uh, the, uh, as you can see, the uh, female's breeding tube is uh, a little thicker. So if you ever wonder if you can tell a male from a female, uh, the uh, standard fin you can see here, not a good close-up, but it's a little thicker. That ovipostor is uh, a little more blunt and thicker. And then the uh, male, the veil tail, has a more pointed um, uh, breeding tube. Here's a close-up of that. Sorry about the pixelation. I did this whole thing on my phone so it's obviously not that good. So uh, anyway, um, so uh, again these are black lace angels which uh, what that means is they have one dose of uh, wild silver type and one dose of dark or black. Uh, so they are a hybrid and uh, it's a blending of the two. So they're very dark but you can still see the vertical bands on them. So anyway, female is uh, again cleaning pretty uh, vigorously. Male is uh, looking for me to feed them. So <laughs> uh, I try to back away and uh, let them do their business. Breeding angelfish is actually pretty easy. Just clean water, good food. They uh, pair off and do their thing. These two were spawning pretty regularly in my community tank, uh, so I had decided to move them over and try to raise a spawn. Uh, they had had a couple in here and uh, did not successfully raise their young, so I had decided uh, this time around I was going to I was going to uh, pull the spawn and raise them myself. So um, here we are. The uh, female is. Uh, laying the eggs money shot there so uh, I was surprised at how many eggs were here it's really hard to tell when you first look uh, I had no idea how many young I was going to get out of this clutch but uh, as you'll see I was pretty surprised at how many of these uh, little guys survived so I pulled the spawn uh, this is hard to tell what it is uh, so this is on the third day after uh, after the spawn you'll see the uh, eggs have hatched there. I pulled the pipe and stuck it in a specimen container which is really just one of those uh, plastic boxes they hang on the outside of fish fish tanks at the uh, at the local pet store. I put it on the inside of the tank uh, so that it would keep warm, put a air stone in there and a few drops of methylene blue to fight off any fungus. So um, as you can see the eggs have uh, begun to hatch. They're still sticking by the uh, little cement gland on their head but uh, uh, so day three is about when these things will hatch they're still in the same tank with the parents and they're kind of going a little crazy so uh, by day seven what I'd done here is I pulled the uh, I'd set up a 10 gallon tank uh, moved the uh, specimen container over to the 10 gallon tank uh, and I've been uh, using a turkey baster to siphon out water uh, so that's why the, it's not so blue anymore but uh, Day seven, you can see uh, they're still not swimming, but they are. Uh, there's a huge pile of them there. Again, really hard to tell how many there are here, but uh, uh, again, I was pretty surprised uh, once they started swimming, which uh, will be actually one day after this. What a difference a day makes! So you can see some of them are still stuck to the uh, stuck to the side of the specimen container. Again, sorry about the crappy video from my phone, but uh, uh, that's as good as I can do. So. Uh, uh, don't flame me. Anyway, so um, uh, again, this is uh, in a new 10-gallon tank that I had set up, new fresh water, and uh, I had slowly uh, siphoned out the, the blue water after they hatched and uh, uh, put in fresh water from the tank. Just one day later, look at this, they're all swimming. So uh, uh, I still have no idea how many are in there at this time, but uh, 
again, just amazing how uh, one day they're uh, uh, helpless and stuck to the side, and here they are swimming in a huge swarm. The day before this, I put up a uh, a uh, brine shrimp hatchery, so I'd be ready for them. So I started feeding them immediately, and uh, now by day 11, you can see they're already starting to grow, and even some of them are starting to color up. So uh, again, just a uh, just a huge swarm of them in there. Sorry about the glare and the reflection, uh, but uh, uh, anyway. So day 15 unbelievable how quickly these things grow and again because they're both black lace parents you can see there that some of those guys are turning uh, are still white and quite a few of them are getting dark uh, quick lesson in genetics if they're uh, both black lace then uh, in theory half the babies should be black lace a quarter of them should be double dark uh, black angels and the other quarter should be silver angels so uh, uh, as you'll see when we get to later in this video and in the next video, that's pretty much how it turned out. Also, since the parents, one had a veil tail and one was standard, should come out half and half. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, the next one will be tracking the growth of these things. So uh, this picture is a preview. If uh, you can see, these are both double dark blacks that uh, are actually both are veil tail. So. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, take a look at the next video. We'll watch these guys grow up. Thanks a lot.